masquerade is already on the case. It will be a long night. Longer still for those of us on the deck. Surely it wasn't my idea. Someone should put up a sign, eh? Have you heard? There's to be more restrictions on goods traded with Batar. What is it? Has something happened? Nah, we have it on good authority that a suspicious individual passed through here. We need to scout the area. Well, scout all the In here. Open up. rather austerely for a patron. My humblest apologies, Lady Wilhelmina. We've had reports of an unseemly character in the vicinity, you see, and... Preposterous. I was out front till but a moment ago, and I did not see so much as a shadow. Be that as it may. You are excused. Leave this place. Ere you invite our noble host's wrath upon yourself. I will summon you if aught is amiss. And what business have you here in the nobles' playground? Hmm? You've the face of someone in search of a juicy morsel. Would you be looking for this, perchance? Come on, then. Keep pouring. Do you take me for some green lad who can't handle his cups? I'm your damned king, and a king deserves royal treatment. <laughs> <laughs> of course, your majesty. Tell us, your majesty, would you prefer more drink, or shall we find some other way to amuse ourselves? <laughs> aye, aye. Let's change things up. <laughs> <laughs> I believe I cautioned you to keep your drunken revelry in check. Lest you forget, these celebrations of your valor are but a pretense for more serious matters. I, I know. I do. It's just I get the poison in me and things happen is all. You need only serve as our false king until Sven becomes consul. Till then, however, you would do well to remember that your role demands a certain degree of dignity. I trust you understand your position, your majesty. Nay, I mean I. As you say, I'll, I'll go and sober up. Why not remove yours as well? This is not the masquerade hall, and we now find ourselves quite alone. What say we dispense with such pretenses and speak openly with one another? Lord Phasus. That will do. If you're discovered, yours won't be the only head that rolls. What is your purpose here, I wonder? If you came to learn of the Sovereign, then tis as you have seen. The man is not but a ale-swilling pretender propped up by the Queen Regent. Of course, that begs the question. If he's a mere mummer, 
Then where might our true arisen be? You'd best go. I'll do what I can to help you make your escape. As you can see, I run an establishment that caters to certain... pleasures. You're welcome to come and play anytime. If you escape with your life, that is. Know, however, that our services do not come cheap. I'll find myself a worthy patron soon enough. We're all ready, are we? There is much we ought to tend to if we are to strengthen your Majesty's claim as a true arisen. I bear word from Regent Ken Sven, Your Majesty. He espied the delivery of a suspicious package to a man named Allard. A minister who happens to be one of the Queen Regent's staunchest and most powerful allies in the palace. From the pains he took to remain on scene, it is plain that Allard wished this delivery kept away from prying eyes. That alone is reason to suspect a connection to Deezer's schemes. We must get to the bottom of it. The Regent Kin intends to call Allard to his chambers come nightfall. He bids you to use this opportunity to search the Minister's chambers and see if there is aught to be learned. What say you, Your Majesty? Are you willing to undertake this task? I shall ensure that the door to the Minister's chambers is open between midnight and dawn. Pray. Use that time to infiltrate and uncover aught worthy of suspicion. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your mag- Well, well. He is merely Deesa's puppet then. It is likely that he knows naught of her schemes. Even were he to be removed, I suspect some other would simply be made to take his place. But if there is aught that compels my attention, test this other man you mention. Phasus, was it? He seems a man of import, and yet, I have never heard of him. Pray, allow me to investigate this matter further. You've done well, Your Majesty. Thank you. So the false sovereign, Queen Regent Deesa, and this Phasus fellow are all working together. Quite the sordid trio, eh? I know not what to make of this, but I shall see you to the entrance. Here already are we. You are the Arisen, yes? The captain gave me your description. Follow me. One of the other guards is by you. You will be forced. Have you heard the news? A new tweet has been sent out to Mel. Mel, I say. I'm not sure. What business could be so pressing that I must be summoned at this late hour? I would not presume to know, my lord. However, 
It must be a highly sensitive matter for the Regent Kin to request a private audience. Oh, perhaps the boy has finally grown wise to the benefits my favor can bring. He might just be his mother's puppet, but at least he knows what's good for him. M my lord, if someone were to overhear... Oh, unring your hands, you fool! As if anyone in this palace would dare say a word against me. Now, if Wilhelmina calls, tell her to await me in my chambers. I will return presently. much we ought to tend to if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen i know this sigil well it is the crest of the neighboring country of batal a land with which vermin has no official dealings at present let me see it reads true to our word we offer you the power of the godswell Pray make haste in securing Melb, that all might be made ready ere our plans are set in motion. A meager clue, to be certain. Though, tis clear that the Queen Regent conspires with Batal. This does not bode well at all. Though the political situation is stable at present, much blood has been spilt between Vermund and his neighbor in the past. I fear such a partnership would only portend the drawing of more. At any rate, to seem our search has led us to only more questions. Chief among them, what is meant by securing Melv and this God's way? I will investigate these matters as best I can. In the interim, Your Majesty, should you have time to spare, might you make for Melv? Only once we have gleaned a fragment of the Queen Regent's plot, can we begin to thwart it. And ere it slips my mind, pray, take this. Perchance it will help speed you on your way to Melv. Phasus? Now there's a name to remember. As a reward, you will, of course, require raiment befitting of the occasion. I would ask that your majesty return once you've procured such attire. we ought to tend to if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen all shall change once we have attended the coronation if your majesty has any unfinished business to attend to it is best you do so before we depart very well pray inform is it aught else you would speak of your majesty all shall change once we have attended the coronation. If your majesty has any unfinished business to attend to, it is best you do so before we depart. Very well. 
The coronation is to take place on the morrow. We shall depart early in the morn, so your majesty will do well to get a good night's rest. your will. Could it be that the gods sway? We must quit this place, your majesty. I fear our plans may fall to law. Let us return to the tavern. False sovereign commanded the pawns at the coronation, proving his own powers arisen. According to Regent King Spen, the pretender was wearing some sort of lavish necklace at the time. I imagine this artifact is the godsway mentioned in that letter. The chance it is a tool that grants power akin to that of the true arisen would do much to explain the events that we have beheld before now. Alas, unless we find some way to unmake this God's way's power, proving your majesty's legitimacy shall be difficult indeed. Pray, allow me time to search for a way forward. I shall inform your majesty when I have prepared a plan of action. Never could I have imagined such an outcome. What manner of artifact is this God's way? I supposed his pointless to ponder. Let us await the results of Captain Brandt's investigation. You have my support. There's our quarry now. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Regarding the matter of the God's way, I fear there is naught to be done, save for your majesty to venture to Batal where you might uncover the false sovereign's secrets directly. The sigil upon that letter from some days past bore the crest of the Batali Palace. Surely this ought to be found therein. Yet official dealings twixt Batal and Brumund are suspended. Passing through their fortress will prove a difficult task. With such hindrances in mind, I thought to prepare this. Pray, take it. Few may pass through Batal's fortress, save Beastron merchants. With some coin, I was able to convince one such merchant to grant us that entry permit. It ought guaranteed passage through the border checkpoint, but alas, tis intended for a Beastron. You shall have to act the part, but as to how that should be done, I am shamed to say I do not know. It will depend upon your majesty's ingenuity. A merchant, eh? Have you an entry permit? Hold a moment. That cart has priority. Lord Phasus is come! Open the gates! So, 
You seek to enter Batal, I presume? I'll have to check your permit. Oi! This isn't yours! Do you take me for a f Welcome, sir. If you think me a liar, then buy something and see the truth for yourself. Hope to see you again. There are few things as exciting as receiving new equipment. So, you seek to enter Batal, I presume? I'll have to check your permit. Go on through. free of the chains of slavery that once bound you to this land, you return of your own volition. This is good. I am relieved to see that you are fulfilling your charge. Now, it would be advantageous for you and your kin to visit the rock master's borough in Bakhtatar. Methinks it is where you will find that which you seek. Master, if ever your pack grows cumbersome, know that I would be glad to... Well met. Does that make you... the Arisen? Be at ease. I bear you no ill will. My name is Manella and I have the honor of serving as a go-between twixt Her Majesty and the Gar. Come, let me buy you a drink. We've much to discuss, and I don't fancy standing round all the while. Shall we make for the tavern? Over here, if you please. We have reached our destination. Come, let me buy you a drink. Well met, sir. How might I be of service? As I recall, we have another matter to attend to in this domain. The people of Batal view pawns with great prejudice. They're even forbidden from setting foot in the capital. Her Majesty, Empress Nadinya, has long been troubled by this custom, but a practice so ancient isn't easily overturned. Many are unhappy about the existence of this tavern, even though it lies outside the capital, simply because it was established as a place for pawns to gather. I know not what manner of person you are, but if you would aid me in my efforts to make the people of Batal more accepting of pawns, I would be glad to offer you a residence permit. It is a bargain more than fair, for those who hold such permits may remain in Bakbatal without having their activities questioned. What say you? Glad I am to hear it. Take this, then. Simply show it to one of the sentries and you'll be granted entry to the capital. Oh, and if you encounter any troubled Batali along the way, I bid you assist them. They are harsh in their persecution of the pawns, but were they to be aided by the targets of their ire, mayhap a few stubborn hearts would soften. A simple plan, I know, but is the only one available, or so it seems to me. I bid you good fortune, Sir Arisen.
of this laboratory, he will doubtless be able to answer many of your questions. Who are you? Uh, no, never mind, it is of little import. I'm searching for new crystal shops. Find them, and I'll pay you handsomely. The bigger they are, the higher your reward will be. Imagine we would not escape a plunge into the water's depths. Have a care. This research. Structure in the. I'm convinced there's all to this place. Could be that whatever's down. Well, have you found any blue crystal shards? Is that all? Tiny fragments such as these aren't nearly good enough. Still, I expect I'll find a use for them here. Take your coin and be gone. Tis a god's sway. Well, to be precise, the crystalline substance from which it is made. By refining such crystals, anyone can attain the power of the Arisen. The power to command the pawns, that is. However, small fragments are meaningless. They cannot contend with the Arisen's power, you see. Speaking of which, should you find any large fragments, bring them to me, won't you? Though that might be difficult, we've scoured this area quite thoroughly, I should think. Tis possible larger shards may have been mistaken for jewels and carried off by scavengers or collectors or some such. Mayhap one such as the Oracle or the Dragonforged would be able to aid you in locating them. I can tell you no more than that. Take 
this. Tis something I found. I wanted you to have it. <laughs> <laughs> 